Hey everybody, this is Rob from Robbie Raz Reviews. Uh, thanks for checking out this review today. Uh, I've got something special today. Pre-release CAO Concert. We're going to talk about this one today. Uh, take a look at the band there. <clears throat> it's got the uh, guitar pick on the front. It's the body and the neck wraps all the way around. Actually pretty cool. Uh, looks like it might peel off, but that's alright. It's just the band. Um, this one was released uh, just a few weeks ago at IPCPR. Um, the uh, release date for the public gonna hit shelves I believe uh, in the next few weeks, middle September. I um, was able to get my hands on a few. This one's been resting for about two weeks um, <clears throat> so it's uh, recovered from its travels. Um, give you some of the ideas, the specs here. I'm gonna check my notes. Uh, it's an Ecuadorian Habano Rosado wrapper, Connecticut Broadleaf binder, and there's four different kinds of Nicaraguan and Honduran uh, tobaccos in the filler. <clears throat> the, this is the roadie size. I'll show it to you again. Um, five and a half by 54 and actually uh, there's four different sizes and they're all five and a half inches um, and I think they start from let me pull it up here they start from 46 to 46 up to 60 uh, <clears throat> Rich Rodriguez wanted to keep everything the same length he felt like the uh, tobacco shine in this length so he just uh, they just switched up the switched up the uh, ring gauge a little bit as they went on so it was four different sizes um, <clears throat> the wrapper on this one very earthy, um, lots of sweetness in the foot, a little chocolate sweetness, a little bit of coffee in there as well. It smells like a nice cigar. Uh, it's a, a book to be a, or build, I should say, build to be a, a medium to medium plus uh, full body cigar. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to clip it and fire it up, and I'll be back in a few minutes and let you guys know how it's going. All right, so we're back, still uh, working on the CAO uh, concert. You can see I'm about a third of the way through. Burns pretty good. <clears throat> the uh, ash is holding on pretty strong. Uh, a little wonky, and we had some issues with the cap. It kind of peeled off a little bit. Uh, but other than that, no real problems. The little, this is just me being real picky, but these little uh, nubs on the end of the, the wings of the guitar or whatever, they're kind of annoying, so I, I kind of want to take the wrapper off, but for video purposes, I'll leave it on, so I'll sacrifice. Uh, flavor profile is, is pretty straightforward. A lot of leather um, and uh, some sweetness, chocolate sweetness. It's uh, not much spice. It's really, it, it's, the spice is kind of kicking up right now. I, the last puff I took, I can feel a little spice building um, as we go. Uh, it's building pretty slow. Um, but again, pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty good smoke, not great. Um, but uh, something nice to kind of just have on a regular afternoon. Uh, definitely eat something first. It's not a full body by any means, but I mean, you wouldn't want to have this on an empty stomach, pretty much any cigar, but take a quick puff. Yeah, spice is definitely starting to build up on the uh, retro for sure. But nice smoke. Well, uh, so like I said, we're getting, oh, we're getting about to the halfway point, so be back in a few minutes and uh, see how everything's going from there. All right, so we just uh, nubbed out my first CAO concert and a pretty good smoke. Um, like I said before, it was it's not spectacular. It's not going to blow you away. Uh, nice flavors, a lot of uh, earthy notes on the leather, um, chocolate sweetness, a little bit of spice, not a lot. Um, it built up. I almost wanted it to build up a little bit more. Um, but again, it was, you know, an enjoyable smoke. And the price point is around six bucks. For that, great smoke, honestly. I mean, if you're, you're looking at that price point, um, sure, you can always find something that might be a little bit better, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but, uh, you know, for this, nice smoke. Um, you can have kind of kicking around. You can sit down and concentrate on it. Uh, it's not too powerful. Um, I wouldn't even hesitate to give it to somebody who's never really smoked much. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it eight and a half, um, and a lot of that has to do with the you know the flavors are good, the profile's good, real consistent, not terribly complex, but that that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Um, so yeah, for around six seventy five, I don't know if you can really beat it. Um, again, eight and a half is my score. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, click on the link below to get to the website RobbieRazReviews.com. Um, I'll have some pictures and uh, a little bit of a write-up posted there as well. So, again, appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, Rob from RobbieRazReviews.com. You can find me on Facebook uh, slash RobbieRazReviews and on Twitter at RobbieRaz.
Thanks, guys.